so I'm backing home in Beijing. Uh, in this video, I would like to talk about how free are our ability to choose. In Matthew chapter 19, uh, verse 23, Jesus said, Truly I tell you, it is hard for someone who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. And how hard is that? Apparently harder than a camel passing through a needle hole. Now, of course, I don't take this to mean rich people can never go to heaven. Of course, as it then said, with God everything is possible. But it also makes me think, why would Jesus point out the amount of wealth a person have would make a difference if everyone can choose freely. And so what does choosing freely mean? I think we can all see, maybe not on everyone, but overall, on average, how people are raised would affect their decisions. For example, I'm raised Chinese, and I prefer to use chopsticks uh, to eat my food, which might be uncomfortable for someone else to use. I think as Jesus su suggested, same is for Christianity. If you are raised in a family that teaches how bad Christians are, I mean, there are some bad Christians out there, as well as many good Christians, but if we tell our children only about the bad Christians, would you expect, on average, they become more or less likely to become a Christian? And if our ability to judge can be affected by the environment we are in, is you have been given the free choice to believe or not. Really a good argument for those who rejected Christianity to not receive salvation through Jesus Christ. I mean, I, I could be wrong. I know I'm just human. So if I'm wrong, please definitely be kind and tell me uh, your understanding of how ferial works in the comments. And uh, because what I'm about to say next kind of builds on the current understanding I have about Free will. So, um, if you're not raised in a Christian family, becoming a Christian does take some effort. You need to say yes to some strangers knocking on doors, and you need to take your own time to attend classes, to study the Bible and stuff. And what if there's somebody who don't really hate Christians, but they simply don't want to take the time to learn about every religion out there, and Christianity just happened to be one of them? What if the Dutch don't understand how, like, maybe the, the, don't understand how special Christianity is? And don't we all turn down some of the invitations to learn about a new religion simply because of the sheer number of religions that are out there? I mean, yes, they have been given a choice, but is that really a fair one? And what if they already have another religion and they think they are already saved? Or maybe they think they don't need to be saved, and they just never give it a thought. How could those people who turn it on with their ability to choose, no matter by accident or because they already believe in another religion, how could, they, how could those people realize the mistake they have made? And the last question I have is, what if we are in that place right now? What if we have accepted the wrong religion with our ability to choose, or rejected the right one, like I might have? How can I realize it? How can we realize it? Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day, and as always, don't be afraid wherever reason leads you.